Hi everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Christina Aroche and I am the Archangel Channel. I'm a spiritual teacher, mentor, and healer and I am here to guide you on your journey of spiritual growth and awakening. And I do that by teaching you about the Archangels and other angelic beings and by helping you to deepen your connection to them so that you can feel them, call on them, work with them in your day-to-day -day life. And in this video, I'm talking about the angel number 888. And this is a really special number. I absolutely love all angel numbers, but the number eight has a very powerful energy and meaning behind it. And so this, in this video, I'm going to be sharing the specific meaning of the number eight. So if you keep seeing 888 everywhere that you go, it's important to pay attention to that. And I'm going to share the meaning of what that means in just a moment. I'm also going to share which archangels are associated with this number so that you know which ones to call on. And also at the end of this video, I'm also going to share a free guide that I have to support you in uh, recognizing angel numbers and knowing what they mean. So before we get started, in case you are new to angel numbers, you're not really sure what they are. It is basically a repeating sequence of numbers. So if you see ones, twos, threes, you know, whatever it is, if you see repeating sequences of numbers, it's a sign from the angels. It's one of the most common ways that people begin to open up to their connection to the angelic realms is by noticing these signs. It's one of the common signs that angels bring to us. And so with each number, each repeating sequ sequence of numbers, there is a specific meaning behind it. So besides the fact that it's a sign from the angels, so no matter what sequence of number you see, it is a sign from the angels. So besides that, it there is also a specific meaning behind each specific number. So it, as I said in this video, we're going to be talking about the number eight. If there are other numbers that you are seeing, you know, in ones, twos, whatever, then make sure that you go and check out my uh, playlist, specific playlist for the angel numbers meaning. So all the numbers from one through nine are in that playlist so you can go check it out go click on the video that is specific to you and go watch the meaning for that specific number so the number eight so this doesn't matter you don't have to specifically see it as 888 if you see 88 or you see 88 88 you know whatever sequence of eights that you see this video is for you now the very first thing that is important for you to know with regards to the number eight is that this is associated with abundance trust and vibrational energy. So these are kind of like your key words. So whenever you see the number eight, it's important for you to think, okay, this means abundance, trust, vibrational energy. And the angels that are associated with the number eight are Archangel Ariel and Archangel Metatron. And uh, like I said, this eight is always, is the number one thing that always comes to my mind when it comes to seeing the number eight is abundance. That's the very first thing that I think of. And that is a huge, huge meaning behind the number eight. And you know, if you flip the eight to its side, it's the infinity sign. And it really represents the infinite abundance that exists all around you and that is available to you. And when you see the number eight, it's a message and a reminder from the angels to pay attention and to focus on the abundance that you already have in your life that is already within you. So when we talk about abundance, it's not just about looking at the material things that you have around you, but it's really about looking at the abundance of energy that exists within you. Because the more that we focus on abundance, the energetic abundance that we hold, the more that we'll see that abundance showing up in our life. And it could show up physically, so with regards to money, but it can also show up in other ways. So abundance of love, abundance of connections, abundance of friendships, abundance of joy. So when we talk about abundance, we're not just talking about money, but it is an important part of the energy of abundance. Money is definitely a huge part of that. And so whatever abundance it is that is most important to you right now, or it could be multiple versions of abundance, it doesn't matter. What's important when you see the number eight is to focus on the abundance that you already have. And so the thing is that the more that we focus and pay attention to the abundance that we already have in our lives, the abundance that we are already experiencing, then that invites in more abundance to come in. Because the thing with abundance is that it is always flowing around us because abundance, again, is just an energy it is a frequency of energy and so the more that we are tapped into abundance already the more that we are attuning and aligning 
aligning our own energy to abundance, which allows then the flow of abundance that's all around us all the time to come in because now we are matching that vibrational frequency and allows that, that abundance to flow in at a, an even greater rate. Okay. And, um, in much more in, in greater abundance. <laughs> so it's important for you to pay attention to that. So, um, it could be a reminder. So if you see the number eight, it could be a reminder that maybe you're not paying attention to abundance and to remind you to pay attention to abundance. And it's also a sign that abundance is on its way to you. So if you've been asking for something, you've been manifesting uh, a, a certain amount of money or certain connections or whatever it is, whatever sort of abundance you've been manifesting, it, it's also a sign of confirmation from the angels that it is on its way to you. So keep pay, t paying attention and keep focusing on the abundance that you already have. So it's not to say for you to start thinking, okay, when's that abundance coming? When is it coming? Where is it? It's not about looking for it. It's about paying attention to what you already have because there's more that's coming. Okay. Now the other sign of number eight is also trust. So what it is also signifying to you is that it is time for you to deepen your level of trust in yourself and in the universe. And this is really important, especially when it comes to abundance and when it comes to aligning ourselves to higher frequencies of energy, we have to trust in ourselves. We have to trust in the universe. And especially when we're working with the energy of manifesting and when we're calling in a certain amount of money, for example, or calling in any sort of experiences or uh, circumstances, people, whatever it is, we have to trust in ourselves, first of all, that we're able and that we're capable of bringing in and calling in that energy into our lives. But also we have to trust in the universe that it is arranging the circumstances and the situations and whatever it is that it needs to do in order to allow that abundance or whatever it is that you're calling in into your life. And so this is where trust is really important because if we start to worry or panic or freak out or whatever it is that happens when we think, oh, it's not here yet. It's not here yet. Why isn't it here yet? Can I actually do this? Maybe I'm going to fail. You know, when we start going down that rabbit hole, then that puts us out of alignment with receiving whatever it is that we're calling in. So the number eight is also a, an important sign to remind you of trust in yourself, trust in the universe. And so when you see the number eight, it's important for you to kind of take kind of like um, take measure or kind of reflect on, okay, am I trusting in the universe? Am I trusting myself? Is there some area in this whole situation where I can release control or where I'm trying to control the situation, which again is an indicator that you're not trusting and where I can release that control, where I can surrender more to the energy of the universe and trust in how everything is unfolding on a deeper level. So that's another reminder for you uh, with regards to number eight. And then the other thing, the other message for the number eight is also, it is about vibrational energy. So when it comes to your vibrational energy, and I already uh, touched up upon this, our frequency of energy, wherever we're vibrating at energetically, that is what we're going to be a match for, for it to come into our life. And so it, when you see the number eight, it is also a sign for you to pay attention to your vibrational energy. It's an, it's, it's a message for you to pay attention to, are you a match for the frequency and the, for, for the vibration of the thing, whatever it is that you desire for the thing that you're calling into your life? Are you a match for it? Or is there something that you need to let go of? Is there fear? Is there limiting beliefs? Is there anything in your energy right now that is lowering your vibration that you need to let go of so that you can raise your frequency and raise your vibrational level in order to become a match for it? So that is another important thing for you to pay attention to with regards to the number eight. So tuning into your vibrational energy and seeing, is it a match? Is, is my vibration high or is there something that's weighing it down? And so when it comes to clearing out your energy, this is where Archangel Metatron is really amazing and powerful in supporting you. He is there to support you with clearing out anything that is a low vibration or anything that does not serve you when it comes to, um, when it comes to your, your vibrational energy and being a match for the frequency of what it is that you desire. Um, the other angel, Archangel Ariel, she's amazing at supporting us with connecting to abundance and helping us with um, trusting, deep, deepening that, that trust in yourself and trust in the universe. So, so call on Archangel Ariel when you need help to see abundance or tune into the flow of abundance. 
call on her. She is going to support you with that. And she's also going to support you with trusting in yourself and trusting in the universe. Because I know that this is something that a lot of people struggle with. They'll say, you know, I know that I need to trust more, but I have no idea how to actually trust more. And that's totally legit. Like everyone struggles with trust. And so um, Archangel Ariel is the one for you to call on to support you in a deepening that level of trust. And so what you can say or what you can ask her is, Archangel Ariel, show me how to trust in myself more. Or Archangel Ariel, show me how to trust in the universe and surrender to the flow. Or whatever it is that you're going through. Asking her to help you is going to support you to move through the energy. Okay, so that is it for the number eight. So if you've been seeing angel number eight, this is what the meaning is for you. Now, if you want to have a quick reference guide to all of the angel numbers, one through nine, then I have a free guidebook that you can download that's called Angel Number Meanings. And like it says, and like I've explained, it has all of the meanings and keywords and angels, all kind of like the key things listed out inside a PDF, a free PDF that you can download um, so that you have a quick reference guide. So whenever you see a certain angel number, you can just quickly go to this PDF and look at that number and see, okay, what does this mean again? Which angel should I be calling on? What do I need to be doing and paying attention to? And it's there for you as a quick, super quick reference. And um, all you have to do is go to the link in the description of this video to go and download download this free guide. The other cool thing is that this free guide also includes a bonus section. So I also share about the meanings of different number se sequences of numbers. So if you see like 1212 12 or 1414 or 4343, whatever, it doesn't matter um, what those mean, as well as what it means when you see your birth date. And so if you want to go and check out that PDF, it's absolutely free. You can go and download that at the link below. And I would love to hear from you. So let me know in the comments below if you are seeing the angel number eight or what angel numbers you are seeing right now. Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And if you have any questions, then please post them in the comments below and I will come back and answer you in the comments. Otherwise, that is it for today. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please give this video a thumbs up. If you know someone who needs to hear this message today, then please feel free to share this video with them. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you do not want to miss any other future videos or any messages from the angels, which I share on here every single week. So that is it for today. As always, I am sending you lots of love and angel blessings, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.